racist vibes from Devin. Ew! Whoa. Ugh, this is traumatizing. Back to my channel welcome to if you are new it looks like i'm vlogging i just wanted to come in and say thank you so much for 50,000, like 50k 50,000. that's four zeros five zero comma zero 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 i'm speechless i just want to thank you guys so much you guys already know i love and appreciate every single one of you like we grew so fast i can't even comprehend as you already saw from the title, somebody wrote a fanfic set about me. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited. Why am I excited? Because I just feel like this is a monumental moment. This is my first ever fanfiction. It doesn't have a title, it's just called Triana Fanfic. This is what it looks like. That don't look like me. But uh, the tags are drama, fanfic, maid, maidex prince, romance, and Triana. Why is the maid low key given? <laughs> Oh my. He whispered when he saw the most beautiful woman on planet Earth. Dark chocolate skin, long smooth curly hair, pink juicy lips, and the most gorgeous brown eyes he ever saw. I'm so right there. Not that skin tones really matter or anything, but I don't think I'm dark skin. Not that there's anything wrong with that, like dark skin is beautiful, but I don't think I fall into that category. Pink lips? I have one pink lip. I have two-tone lips, so uh, who is this? She had on a maid costume, but he didn't recognize her. It's not like he knew all his maids personally, but he would surely know who she was if she was one of his maids. She was way too beautiful to forget. Why is my head giving like, it's giving big. Why does it look chunky? Who is that? He asked his friend. Devin looked the way he pointed. Huh? Devin sounded disgusted. Forget her, Ethan, she's just a maid. First of all, was that really necessary? Like that was so dramatic. I don't think I'm that ugly, Devin. Chill out. Come on, man. There are plenty of other girls in this party, girls who are way more prettier than that maid. He grabbed Ethan's arm again and pulled him away. Okay, so then it's like a time jump. I don't know how far away we're jumping, but... No, I'm totally not a maid, she sarcastically said and rolled her eyes. This is a cosplay. He blinked with his eyes, shocked that she was so rude towards him, but then he smirked, amused. You don't know who you're talking to. Who are you? Ethan? Ah, uh, I'm scared. He took a step towards her. She stood there. Yeah? She scoffed. You're an arrogant a-hole who thinks he's above the law. She rolled her eyes. Put him in his place! Also, what did we do to him? Like, why are we being mean? <laughs> I'm so confused. He walked towards her until he was nearby. She could feel his warm breath against her pink lips. Why does this sound like some erotic thing? <laughs> No, I'm just dirty minded, but look, he sounds erotic. She looked up at him. He saw a flustered look in her bright brown eyes. Because I am. She took a step back. What are you talking about? She hissed. He smirked as he followed her moves. Low key? Low key, that's kind of hot. Because, like, imagine. Here, here, here. You know, like, you're getting pushed against the wall. What can I say? Sorry. You're getting pushed against the wall, but, like, not in a predatory way. Like, in a way that he's trying to seduce you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Royalty is always above the law, pretty girl. You're not gonna get me with that, pretty girl. Mm -mm. No. Because I can't keep falling for, like, these cute nicknames, y'all. It, it can't be like this. She looked confused for a second. But then her eyes widened. Your majesty! She immediately frowned to the ground and kneeled for him. Uh-uh. Get up. Kneel to the ground for who? Actually, cause Loki, the only guy- How did you not know it was your prince? I- I didn't know it was you. If I knew- Why does she keep stuttering? I have YN syndrome. If I knew- uh, I would have never ever insulted you like that. She seemed genuinely scared. You're acting like his whip or something. Why are we this scared? Like, what can he do? I don't have any context, so I can't, like, really go from anything, you know? He looked down at her. He wasn't even mad. No need to be scared, beautiful. He smiled at her and took his hand out. She looked at it like it was burning water. Are you gonna take my hand or... Are you gonna take my hand or... She didn't realize he was talking to her. The prince was talking to her. The prince was talking to a low-leveled, dirty, bald-headed bum like me. Wow, I am so very much honored. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Ugh. She stuttered and blushed a bit out of embarrassment. She took his hand and he helped her up. Thank you, your majesty. So pretty girl. What's your name? No, 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 no. no, no. no. I do not want to get to the point of the story where my name is actually being said. Because then, the, then it's real. It's real. Like, my name is in it. This is real. Like I just can't say my name. Triana doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> Time jump. I don't think Devin likes me. Triana sighed. Ethan looked truly shocked 
when he heard those words. Why do you think that? Triana scratches her neck. Ah, uh, well. Sorry, sorry. He's kind of racist towards me. Racist? I wasn't getting racist vibes from Devin. He just said I was ugly. He just said I wasn't his type. What do you mean racist? I'm getting scared, y'all. I smell foreshadowing. Racist? Ethan looks shocked when Triana said that. No, you're kidding. Devin would never. Ethan laughed nervously. Ethan! Triana shouted. He literally called me the N-word! <laughs> what? Is this real life? I'm getting racially profiled in a pop hat story. This is traumatizing. I thought this was gonna be some cute, lovey-dovey, fluff type of romance fan fiction. No. Yeah, that drama and the tag should have been in all bold. Devin? No, no, let's add racism from there. Imagine if that was actually added into the story, like the whole scenario of it going down, like me be, I, I wouldn't be able to take this seriously. I would actually be scared. Ethan looked genuinely confused. What's wrong with calling someone that? What's wrong with calling someone that? Come here, Ethan. You know, like, how ignorant can you be? And as a prince, no, let's add ignorant in front of that. I wanna put in my two weeks. I'm quitting on the spot. I'm not about to be racially profiled at work too. Are you effing kidding me? If you don't know what's wrong with calling someone that, you shouldn't even be talking to me. She snapped and turned to walk away. But Ethan grabbed her hand and stopped her. Did I do something wrong, pretty girl? Please talk to me. Go ahead and educate yourself, then come talk to me. Actually, go ahead and educate yourself and never talk to me. And Devin, Devin is the real person we should be mad at because the N word, like, and also it was probably unprovoked because I'm minding my business. I'm minding my business and I just get called the N word in a Wattpad story. Triana turned, ew, ew. Triana turned back to him again and was about to slap him, but she tried to stay calm. Violence is never the answer. You know, like, the only name he gets to call me is Triana. <laughs> and now let go of me. She snatched her hand from his and angrily walked away, leaving the prince alone, confused and upset. All the maids turned their heads when they heard the voice of the prince. They immediately got on their knees and bowed. It's never that serious. Triana did it. Triana, what are you doing? Her friend Lily is. Get on your knees, idiot. No. Triana ignored her and continued doing the dishes. Ethan sighed and walked in. Ew! Why did they have me washing the dishes? Beautiful, please listen to me. I. Ugh. Triana, please let me explain it. He almost begged her. Honestly, seeing guys beg, like. <laughs> Go ahead and do it again. <laughs> Begging, whimpering, moaning guys. Triana, I'm serious. I can explain it. It's not what you think. Your racist friend Devin called me the n-word and you ignorant Prince Ethan said what's wrong with calling someone that? What am I not getting? I think I summed up everything. Am I missing something? No. She finally looked at him, but her eyes were cold. Shut up and die, Ethan. She snapped. That was the moment the prince lost it. He grabbed Triana aggressively by her arm and dragged her out of the kitchen. Let go of me, Triana growled. No, you're gonna listen to me, Triana. Oh, I can't. I can't. When Ethan looked at her, his gaze was cold. He was so mad about her disrespectfulness and rudeness. I'm not going to do anything you ask me, Ethan. Let effing go of me. She tried to tear her arm free again, but it didn't work. Before she realized it, Ethan had pinned her against one of the walls in the palace. Listen, pretty girl. Triana could feel his hot breath. Hot breath? I'm sorry, but if, like, I just don't think hot breath is a compliment. Like, that, that never sounds good to me. Like, even if you switch up the tone, your breath is hot, it still sounds like an insult. So he needs to back up with his hot breath. Triana could feel his hot breath on her lips. Don't ever disrespect me like that in front of my maids, ever. He growled and looked deeply in her eyes. What are you gonna do, whip me? <coughs> Sorry. Ethan pinned her harder against the wall. And that's the end. I'm so sorry that there is a, this isn't a whole story. I hope you like this. It was definitely something, Courtney. It was definitely something. Thank you. I just can't believe I got called the N-word. I don't even think I would be traumatized in real life if someone called me the N-word. I'm traumatized now. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I wanna be the